I had this interesting thought about Beluga and Explore Lucid Dreaming, and really, I guess, in a, in a bigger sense, about the algorithms on YouTube and in other social media platforms. And this is kind of something I knew before, but I just want to recap it. When you think about it, right, so let's say if there's a, a social media platform with an algorithm like YouTube, the algorithm decides, at the base level, the algorithm decides which ideas, which concepts and titles and topics get seen by the most people. Right, And I would say this effect now happens almost for the entire thing. The algorithm de determines almost the entire process based on who clicked the video, who's clicking away from the video and who you know stays to watch it. But these things can be uh, gamed, they can be tricked. And I'm not, I'm not saying, by the way, that Beluga or Explore Lucid Dreaming did that. I think his videos are quite funny and you know the Explore Lucid Dreaming is quite engaging, way more engaging um, than a lot of videos out there. But what it means is that the algorithm, and more specifically our reaction to what the algorithm values, determines which ideas get shared. I could be sharing the best content about Lucid Dreaming, literally like the most accurate, interesting, useful, uh, whatever content. But if there's another video out there that has more engaging stock footage, that has a, a, a catchier title or a thumbnail, that video will be shown and promoted by YouTube and my video will not be. And I mean, obviously we knew that, right? That's how, how the algorithms work and that's how, because they're a business, aren't they? YouTube are a business and they want to make as much money from advertising as they can. The way they do that is by getting people to watch their videos for longer. Makes It kind of makes sense, right? It's a business, it's a smart move, it's probably made them billions, uh, billions more dollars than the old system. But the, the dangerous thing about that, right, the worrying thing about that, is it means that their algorithm can determine and decide what ideas get shared to the wider community. They essentially are the gateways to information. And, and you might say, well, no, I mean, you can search for anything on YouTube, right? Well, firstly, no, you can't. A lot of ideas are censored and hidden and not even allowed to be discussed on YouTube. Um, but secondly, the, the, the ideas that are allowed to be discussed are also manipulated because while you can still search from them, the, the majority of their watch time comes from suggested videos. It doesn't come from what they, what they search for. It comes from the videos that YouTube think they want to watch. Of course, there's endless amounts of engaging videos, interesting, but also waste of time <laughs> videos where it's just kind of, you can't stop watching it, but at the same time, you're not really learning anything. And you're certainly not learning important ideas that could potentially change the world, in, but instead you're just kind of wasting your time. And while that makes YouTube money, it raises the question of why and how did YouTube become the gateway to information? And specifically Google, because if you search for something in Google, you, you might think, well, it's a search engine. If I search for something, it will show me what I search for. That is absolutely not the case. And, and you can test this yourself. If you compare the search results for any kind of spicy term, anything where there's kind of a bit of controversy or where, where the majority of people think one thing about something, if you compare the search results of Google and Yandex or Google and like Fireball or Quant, Bing, DuckDuckGo, the results are vastly different. And in some cases, and this is, this is when you really know you're onto something, in some cases you'll search for something in Google and it will say, there's very few results for this. There's eight results, there's 10 results. You search the same keyword in Yandex, millions of results, all organized and they know exactly what you mean. They know, and but Google know as well. They have one of the most advanced neural uh, prediction engines in the world. They know what you mean <laughs> when you type in things to their search engine. They know exactly what you're looking for. And it's a very deliberate decision to not show you those things in some cases. So with um, anything that's kind of controversial, I'd recommend using a different search engine, a different video search engine. I actually have been creating other, like mirror versions of this channel on other platforms, and I will eventually be posting videos there where I can talk about the things that I'm not allowed to talk about here. Um, so if you didn't know these channels existed, go and follow me on them. So there's Utreon, Odyssey, uh, Bitshoot, Rumble, and uh, a couple of others as well. I'll try and remember to put the links in the description for you. But yeah, on there, you don't have that gate, uh, that, that kind of firewall, that gateway, where they decide what you can see and what you can't see, They where they decide these things. You don't have that. It's a lot more free and open, and you can actually just go straight to the information you want and make your own mind up about stuff. Anyway, yeah, I, um, I thought this would be interesting. Maybe you haven't seen these channels or maybe you didn't know that. So yeah, let me know what you think and um, see you next time.